In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use an extra pivot grid and extra chart while using the pivot grid as the chart's data source. In doing so, the end user will get a visualization of the text and numeric data in the grid very quickly via the chart control. So let's take a look. Let's add a DevExpress extra form to the control, which will allow us to use the DevExpress look and feel features and help enhance our result. I'm going to change the startup to the extra form control and we'll switch over to the extra form. Next, from the toolbox, I'll drop a pivot grid control on the form and resize it. Then we'll change the anchor property to hold it in place, so top, bottom, and left. Let's make a little room for the chart and from the toolbox, drag and drop a chart control onto the right side of the form. The chart wizard is automatically invoked. I'll choose the bar chart and click finish. Next, we'll change the anchor property for the chart control to hold it in place. So, now the pivot grid and chart control are in place, and as I resize the form, they'll stay where they're at due to the anchor property. Next, I'll click on the pivot grid control smart tag to add a project data source. I choose database as my data source type and click next. We'll choose the Northwind sample database. Click on views and let's choose product sales for 1997 and click finish to close the wizard. Right click on the pivot grid control and let's run the designer. We've got the field list shown here and we'll go ahead and drag and drop the category name, product name, and product sales to the pivot grid fields list. So these will be the available fields for the user. Then we can move the product name over here to the row fields and product sales in the data items area. And as you can see, that will give us the basic grid view. Next, let's switch to the properties window for the pivot grid control. Scroll down to Options Data Source, and I'll change Show Row Totals to False, so the totals won't be in the pivot grid. And we'll click on the extra chart, which is the chart control, scroll down to the Data Adapter, and set that to None. Now, here we'll expand the data source list. Click on the other data sources and the extra form list instances and choose the pivot grid control as the data source for the chart control. Next, scroll down to the chart controls series data member property and change that from arguments to series. Again, let's scroll to the series template, expand that, and for the argument data member, here we'll choose arguments. Scrolling down again to the value data members, let's expand that and choose values. Next, click point options and change the format to currency since we're dealing with money here and the precision to zero, so we'll have whole dollar amounts. Finally, scroll up to the chart controls legend property and disable the legend so it will no longer be visible in the chart. Let's click on the bar chart part of the chart control to see the XY diagram. So that's this part of the control. And you can see the XY diagram up top here in the properties window. Let's change the rotated property to true to rotate our grid 90 degrees and now our axes are interpolated. So I click on the x-axis and that shows up in the property window and we'll set the reverse property to true. Next click on the y-axis. Expand the label property and change the angle to negative 45 degrees which will give me a slight rotation on my angle and anti-aliasing to true which smooths out the lines on the information it can make the text along that axis easier to read. 
Expand the numeric options property of the y-axis, and we'll change the format again to currency and the precision to zero. Next, I want to give the extra form a little better look and feel, so I click on the extra form, expand the look and feel property, deselect use default look and feel, and select the skin that I like, which is blue. And you can see I have an updated form here. I'll go ahead and modify my text to extra pivot grid as chart data source. And that's it. Let's run the application. So, as you can see, I've got product name and product sales information in my grid. Notice the selected one shows up on the chart. If I select several more, then the chart is updated automatically. If I sort, then the chart sorts automatically. I can select a different range of values. My grid is updated. I can sort order by product name. I can drag and drop the categories to the rows area, and now my categories are included in my X axis as part of my label. Change the sort order by category. If I want, I can add a filter on product name. Select Show Pre-Filter, click the Add button, category name begins with, let's try C, and it gives me a hint that there are in fact C categories. And I've got my sorted data. So the nice thing is, is I make changes to my data, rather than as a user having to analyze the numeric values and figure out what's going on. I can simply sort of make selections and update what's going on in the grid itself, and my chart is reflective of that. If I want to disable my filter, I can do that, and I have all my data back. I can edit the filter, and I can play around with the data fields here. Thanks for watching, and of course, thank you for choosing DevExpress.